intersection of McClintock and the Western Canal, and we're down here to talk about the new Hawk Signal, a high intensity activated crosswalk. We have a brand new multi-use path here at the Western Canal, which is halfway between Guadalupe and Elliott. And the crossings are at Rule and McClintock. They're very busy crossings, and so we wanted to add a, a device that would help the pedestrians get across in a more efficient manner and also help move traffic in a safe and efficient way. It's very busy road. There's lots of pedestrian usage, bicycle usage, people on rollerblades and skateboards. And so they were having a hard time finding an acceptable gap in traffic to get across the road safely. And the Hawk pedestrian beacons provide that gap in traffic for them. Pedestrians can expect when they come up to the Hawk signal a very similar setup to a normal traffic signal. They need to push the pedestrian button to activate it and they're going to see a solid don't walk hand and when that turns to walk they'll know that it's their time to be able to proceed across the intersection and they should carefully go out into traffic looking for oncoming vehicles when the walk signal comes on and then it will go to the flashing red hand, the don't walk hand. They should complete their crossing, but not start a crossing at that time. And then it's gonna go back to the solid don't walk hand until a pedestrian comes and pushes the button again. Although the Hawk beacon signal is very similar from a pedestrian perspective to normal traffic signals, the motorists are going to see very different situation. First of all, it starts out dark and so there's nothing going on until a pedestrian presses the button. Now once the pedestrian presses the button, the signal will start flashing yellow, telling the motorist to prepare to stop, and then it will go to solid yellow, telling the motorist they must come to a stop. And then it's going to go to a solid red. Once the solid red is finished, that's the walk time for the pedestrian, it's gonna to toggle red back and forth. And toggling red back and forth means once you've stopped and the pedestrian has cleared, you can proceed through the intersection. If you're the second person in line, you pull up to the stop bar and make sure it's clear and the pedestrians have crossed, and then you may proceed through. And then once the signal goes dark, you can proceed through the signal like you would if there was no pedestrians at all. And this way it's more efficient for traffic, and that's the benefit of the Hawk over a standard traffic signal for the motorist. The Hawk pedestrian beacon is just another example of some of the innovative technologies the City of Tempe Traffic Engineering Department has been able to implement. And we're very excited about the success of it, and we feel like it's a great addition to our city traffic signal system.